buddy. Come on, guys. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Keep it up. I'm gonna push you down these stairs. Come on, watch out. Watch out. I got a man in a chair. All right, everybody, come on. Break it up. Let's go. Do you understand what probation means? Uh, yes, sir. It means that if you continue down that same path, you'll be locked up and calling some cellmate daddy within a month. Yes, sir. If I had it my way, we wouldn't waste our time. You'll be inside already. Mr. Gray has made great progress. His share on willfulness was one of the most powerful things I've ever heard. I, I believe in this man. Well, let's hope you don't live to regret that fate. God works in mysterious ways. <laughs> in this case, seems God is downright perverse. But I'll leave the salvation to you gentlemen. You stay out of trouble. Yes, Daddy. Excuse me? Yes, sir. Remember, it's a disease. I know, Chad, I know. It's a disease. Meetings every day. Call you if I feel the need to use. Pray. I pray. In fact, I'm praying right now. You're very willful. Was very willful, Chad. Was very willful. I've changed. And you know what, Chad? You changed me. Gentlemen, shall we get the fuck out of here? Hey, stay in touch. Yo. Here you go. It's about time. Sweet home. <laughs> Yeah. 
There's definitely an undeniable twinge of homosexuality in this fine country's correctional system. No wonder you keep getting caught there, Billy. You can't stay away from it. <laughs> now, let me clear. I keep getting caught because assholes like you ain't watching out for me. Don't question me. Sometimes you gotta look out for yourself, Billy. Okay, I'll save my questions until I see the chapter. And you better have looked after my baby. Much, Bill. The usual stuff. We missed you, Bill. So, aching for a fucking drink here. Amiguito. Come on, just pour a Willy wet back. Boys, salute wet you pussy motherfuckers. And salute. <laughs> okay, oh, another round for you. Goddamn <laughs> right. <sighs> no. Yummy. So, Johnny boy, where's my bike? You know where it is. Let me rephrase the question. Where the fuck is my bike and where the fuck haven't you got it back for me? Because you know where it is. Are you deaf? Give me that whiskey. Are you fucking deaf? No. Then answer the goddamn question. Why the fuck haven't you got it back for me, friend brother? One word. Business. Like I told you when you were in there. Or were you so busy playing holier than thou, you started believing your own bullshit? Oh, forgive me. You know, I've had a complicated few weeks. I can only imagine. Shut up. You know, coming off heroin's kind of hard. I think I acquired this touch of amnesia. What business is more important, Mr. 1980s yuppie big shot, than your best friend's bike when he's close to getting a 15 year stretch? The business that pays his lawyer's fees. The business that puts food on all of our tables. The business that we are all in while you're out pretending to be saved. Get my bike! What am I, your fucking dog? I told you you should've gotten bike. You told me? You told me you don't tell me shit, you little fuck! Listen, Billy. They were pissed, and they had a reason. Your bike chopped that girl's leg off. You put Joe John's nephew in a coma. The deadbeats kept the bike. And we needed the money. We needed some balls. Uh, some fucking heart. Something. I can't believe I'm hearing this shit. And I can't believe I'm hearing this. After everything we did for you, Paid your rehab, paid your lawyer's fees, paid your rent, paid everything. Shit, we set stuff up for you. We do well, man, but it's time to be smart. You're right, you're right. No, you're right. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to run right out and buy a condo, get a mortgage, 401k, and then fold that over into an IRA and a CD. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, man? Be smart? You be smart, you fucking chump. You're ridiculous. Have you got a health care plan? Come on, Johnny, let's just get his bike. Come on. Well, on your head be it. It always is. It's called leadership. Shit meaning something. Yeah, and your shit means a lot, man. Come on. Hey, Johnny. Yeah? Wait, come here. Listen, man. Well, pin up right now. You saw that shit I had to go through, right? It was really frustrating, fucked up shit, craziness, right? Okay, so I'm a little pissed off and I've been a bit of a prick lately. Come on, man. You and Angus built that bike for me? That's got to stand for something. Yeah, you're right, brother. I'm going to go get it. And you know what? Peace and prosperity be damned. Peace and prosperity be damned, my brother. You are my brother, Johnny. Always. Let's go! Hold on! I'm thinking you could use the guiding hand of your president on this noble quest. Until we get my bike, I'm the monkey on your back. That's so pretty boy still knows where this thing is. Managed to avoid prison and I'm still asked to cock with a dude. Yeah, well, I ain't too happy about it neither, man. 
You want to turn around and go back to the clubhouse? I'm happy about it, all right, John Boy. Fuck after that therapy shit and drinking the road's all I need. Good to know. You've been missing me all that time I spent sharing and caring and rehab? Let's get your bike and save the emotions for later. You know what, Johnny? You can do with some of the trust exercises they got in there. I'm gonna blindfold you when we get back. All you gotta do is fall over and trust that your brothers are gonna catch you. <laughs> can you do that? You boys will be too drunk to catch VD, let alone 230 pounds of rapidly approaching middle age. Technically. You are 230 pounds of Jewish biker, John Boy. Your faith has got to come first. Religion, Billy. Religion. I gave up with faith. Johnny the Jew, Levitz the he. Good to be here, man. Good to fucking be here. What's your problem? Nothing, man. I'm the leader of the chapter again, Johnny. And you're just another brother. Can you handle it? As long as you run the chapter right, we can all handle it. I'll run it the way it needs to be run. Same as the three guys before me did, same as I'm doing now. Really? Feels kind of different. Before, all we cared about was having fun, brothers, getting shit-faced. Screw you, you get in our way, you're gonna get your teeth kicked in. Thank you for sharing. And now what's it feel like to you, Jonathan? Feels like knocking heads is a full-time job. But maybe if we stopped doing it for a minute, we'd look around and realize that the fun ended a long time ago. Yeah? Well, I signed up to be a brother for life, you ungrateful fuck. If you're in the law for the good times only, fair weather weekends and the careways, then you ain't in the law. You get me? Chill out, man. I just hope when we decide to take a break, to slow down, it's still an option on the table. Pretty boy. Hey! Where's the bike? Oh, it's good to see you too, tough guys. Uh, what bike are you talking about exactly? You know what we're talking about? Billy's bike. Billy's bike? <laughs> Jesus, man. It's been a long time. I thought he was dead. What's he wanted for? To sell for crack, right? Hey? Shut up. Listen, you know how it is. Things passed hands. Parts been changed up. Hard to say if that chopper's even around anymore. Sorry, boys. You will be, my friend. You will be. Hey, good to see you, Bill. Man, I, I thought you was dead. Jim, start up the bike. Whoa, hold on. Wait, please, please. No, 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 no. no. Where is my ah, bike? Ah, no, Speak, you mind. ugly ah, fuck. Ah, OK, listen. Ah, the Angels of Death took it to their place in Northwood. What the fuck, the Angels of Death? Me. Thank you! Yes. Thank you! Need. 
Maybe an occasional bit of a hole. Wouldn't be a man if I didn't need that, now would I? How's Ashley, by the way? She's single? What about your brothers, man? Ain't you in it for the lost? Everything I do is about the lost. I don't exist without my brothers, without you. If you don't get that, then you don't get nothing, John Boy. Is that state of affairs? Yeah, well, it's some tough love you're showing them. you, Billy. Lead on. your bike. Take what you gotta take, drink what you gotta drink, fuck what you gotta fuck. I don't care. Kill who you gotta kill, but get it out of your system. Hmm. 
And when you do, give me a call and we'll get back to business. You're not my P.O., brother. Remember who the head of this chapter is. I do, man. Trust me. Tell me, do you still have Ashley's phone number? Why don't you give her a call for me? Tell her I'm inside getting all sorts of fucked up and that I would really like some, I mean, we, meaning all of us, would love some whole. What's going on, Jim? Hey, Johnny boy. You know the deal? If it ain't one load of bullshit, it's a goddamn nother. Tell me about it. Coming close to really losing my shit here. Well, you ain't gonna like what I'm about to do in the next few hours. What? We gotta go steal some bikes from the Angels of Death. Ain't we a little too old for stealing bikes and clubhouse flags and crap like that? <laughs> it don't help nothing. Yeah, I hear you, man, but these bikes are the real deal. Now, I got a guy who pays me for them, and then he ships them over to Japan. Apparently, they're gonna go crazy for these bikes in particular. Now, business is business, and the Angels, they're the Angels. So do it for the memories. Okay, it's been a little while since you and me have been on a prank like this together, hadn't it? <laughs> too right, brother, too right. Who knows? Might be fun. <laughs> Stick to me, Johnny! Take a real dumb civilian to screw with our bikes on club turf. These bikes are over by the deadbeat hangout in Tudor. Where'd you get the van, Jim? You ain't turned into some kind of trailer queen, have you? Very funny, asshole. This shit belongs to my contact. If I wanted to take a bike of mine somewhere, I'd drive it myself. Yeah? Having an old lady and kid hasn't made you scared of getting dirty. I was riding bikes before your mama rode your daddy, Jonathan. Jackie and the baby, yeah, it's nice and all. And shit, I mean, I love them and stuff. But I'm still a brother. Lost MC, man. Forever. So, if Billy asked you to do... It's time to stick it to him, Johnny. Let's do this. Get him on the trailer, Johnny.
Let's get this truck back! Integrity. Laszlo lost his radio job after the payola scandal. Quite frankly... Screw you, you prick! Come on, then! can handle the truck. Alrighty then, amigo. Oh, I always get a kick out of sticking it to them pants. Old habits die hard, brother. Yep. Too bad times weren't always this easy. Oh, shit. Be cool, man. Well, what do we have here? Looks to me like a couple of mopes with some stolen bikes. These bikes are ours, officer. Nobody's gonna be reporting these bikes stolen, so give us a break. Oh, looks like these mopes have outsmarted us, don't it? Unbelievable. These inbred biker rednecks get smarter every year. <laughs> Your parents must have been fucking brilliant siblings. Yeah, funny. Think you're smart? How smart are you gonna feel when we drag your old lady downtown, turn the cameras off, and interrogate her real hard? Man, I bet she'll love it. Yeah. She'll be begging us for another fucking interrogation in no fucking time! Oh! No! Oh, we've been watching the angels of death shit, birds! That's right, we saw the whole thing, you fucking jerk-offs. Case closed! Cause now you're gonna fucking pay us, just like your daddy paid your mama for sex. Skank bitch wouldn't even give her own brother a freebie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, think of a number, assholes. And it better be a big one. While you're at it, we're gonna be watching. So you better behave yourselves, boys. Ha! Oh, watch it there, Slim. Assholes. Fucking cocksuckers. <laughs> Fucking pricks like those who made me join the Lost in the first place. I'm gonna go back to the clubhouse. See who's around. Later, man. Later. Hey, Jim. Good to see you, man. What's the trouble? Take a guess, bro. Might have something to do with those cops that pulled one over on us. I figured. The way I see it, we got two choices. Either we buy a big tub of grease and prepare to take it from these fat pigs the rest of our lives. Or? Or we head over to the clubhouse. Close to where I happen to know they got themselves set up, and we show them that we're not quite the bitches that they think we are. 
Well, well, tempted as I am by your first option, I'm gonna have to go with the second. I figured you'd say that. Lead on, James. Like the feel of a fully automatic pistol in your hand, you son of a bitch. Let's see if you still got it, old man. Let's drop the fucking hammer on this run to those assholes. from behind, man. You like looking in my patch? Wait here a minute. Hey, officers, how you doing? Hey, McCornish, this fat purpose brought us a present. <laughs> no, I forgot how stupid looking this guy was, Matthews. Don't you think he's smart enough to realize that we got expensive tastes? What do you uh, got for us, Mo? Oh, exactly what you asked for. Well, all right. Oh, oh, hey! Oh, there you go! Get out, man. Make tracks to Trinity Road, John! Come on! I got some brothers coming to meet us! You stole his donuts, spilled his coffee! Real mature, man! We don't want to piss him off too much. Not yet, at least. Maybe you should have stolen his lunch money. Maybe you should be on a fucking stage with jokes like that. What the, winner don't know. the bulls are seeing red. I'm gonna go undercover in your asses, dickheads. Pigs! Time's almost up, you dirty bastards! It's nearly retirement time, fuckers! Here's as good a place as any.
little dorky gas station attendant boy goes, hey man, are you all right? And I go, yeah, dude, how's my bike? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Johnny K. Hey, Johnny, how you doing, baby? Hey, the fuck? Stop domestic violence. Hey, having fun over there? Absolutely. And if I get tested, I have a bag of 12 year old's piss right here. <laughs> I am clean. Real nice. Oh, fuck you, Johnny. You oh. don't judge me. Whoa, calm down, man. Have another drink or something, but calm the fuck down. Oh, hey, watch your you mouth, faggot. Tell him. Yeah. Oh, really? Whoa, 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 guys, guys, Billy, Johnny. We got a couple of fucking deadbeats outside. Fucking dead what? Fucking deadbeats. What the, hell they they dead? what the fuck, fuck do they want? I'm out of rehab three minutes, and they think they can crash yeah, my party? Right. Come on! Yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah let's go! Do gotta do. Gentlemen, gentlemen! Why the long faces? Might I tempt you in a swift libation, my most trusted and honored guest? I thought we had a truce going on. Did you? Funny thing, I wasn't aware. But let me tell you, it's a strange kind of truce that makes you think that it's okay to gate crash my party. Deadbeat, motherfucker. I'm sorry. Huh. You enjoy your little party. I take it the good times are over. No problem, old man. Screw you, you deadbeat prick. Yeah, think you can come to my you. party and gate crash? Come on! Yeah, come on! Brother. Yeah. You coming back? Uh, I'd love to, man, but I'm seeing this hot Russian broad over on Firefly Island. Gonna drink a daddy's expensive vodka and fuck her under the pier. <laughs> Ooh, young love in the modern world. Yeah. That's beautiful. Well, these deadbeats won't be screwing around with us anymore. Let the good times roll. 
they was mad. But see, there was only two of them. They you know? were mad, they were. That was, you should know that. No, you'd have been okay because you... Because are... I am a lawyer. Yes, and during the week you cover up those nice gnarly tattoos with a gray flannel suit and make a nice steady income. Oh, man. Tom Stubbs would love hanging out with you boys. He may be a politician, he may be a politician, but he ain't no square. Smoke Dave? Oh, hell yes! <laughs> I put some mescaline in with the weed, Dave. <laughs> So I'd be very careful if I were you. <laughs> you could be tripping for days. I can handle it. Oh, yeah, I fucking love you, man. Oh, Jonathan, look at this guy. This is Dave, Dave Grossman. By day, top lawyer at Shysters. By night, a knight of the road battling the very corporate forces he represents. Hey, Dave, are you a bisexual? <laughs> Very funny. I didn't right. think so. I guess you just like cock. Jonathan, bong hit? Nah. Hey, Dave, forgive me, man. Would you fuck off for a second? I gotta talk to Billy. Uh, Please, Dave. Uh, Up, Dave. Uh, Thank you. You look serious. What's next, man? Documentary team in here? You gonna write your autobiography or something? He's cool. He's a lawyer. He can help us with shit. He looks like an asshole. Right now, I think he's tipping his face off. Whatever. Look, dude, you and me. Shit seems kind of tense lately, doesn't it? It's kind of lame. Have I offended you in some way? No. Then what do you say we put all this shit behind us and have some fun? Because you know, life is pain, brother, and through this life, through this brotherhood, we can give the pain the finger. Yeah, yeah, you're, right. Right. Get pain. Oh. yeah you're right. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah? Are you fucking kidding me? What? Where? All right, all of you, let's go! Let's go! Let's Our go boys are getting jumped! Fucking right, ass, boys! Go. out here with the big boys. What? 
side of the West River, Prince. Come on in, gather around. Hey. Chill out. Brothers. I just got word that Jason's been killed up and broken. He was banging some Russian broad and her heavy duty father didn't much like it. And I had a fucking Polak to do it. I think he was a serf, Brian. Fucking slap scumbag, all the fuck Shut the fuck up. Brothers, we will find a way to get payback against this Polish, Russian, Serb, I don't really give a shit. In the meantime, let's take a moment to remember Jason and all the other men who've given the finger to this shitty little thing that we call conformity. Amen, Billy. Got that right. Now, Jason was he's just a kid, but he hit the throttle harder than most of us, huh? <laughs> he's a lawbreaker, 
troublemaker, beer drinker, and hellraiser. Uh, he didn't suffer fools. Got any piece of hole he wanted. <laughs> Always had time for a brother in need, and he was scared of precisely jack shit. That's right. <laughs> in short, the kind of man I'd want to be. Jason Michaels. Lost, but not forgotten. Amen to that, Billy. Jason. Okay, boys. The time for pussy licking and ass kissing is over. We are brothers for life, lost forever. In these perilous times, it's more important than ever that you follow your leader, and that is me. Remember. Yeah. See you boys back at the clubhouse. So where did you get them from? Oh, you know, from a little contact I have, I really want you to cut me out of the loop. <laughs> now I get it. What is wrong with you? Hey, man, what kind of going? shit is out there? Billy, all you gotta do is grab it. And that makes you what? A, uh, shit grabber? <laughs> shit grabber. Wow. <laughs> now, see, I like how you did that. It was very good, very clever. Almost like a joke, you know, only it wasn't funny. Johnny, you met Ray? Hey. Ray Bogino. Hey, my brother, Johnny. Johnny the Jew. Johnny the Jew, how the hell are you? Do me a favor, help keep this degenerate out of jail, all right? At least until he's paid me. I'll do my best. Yeah, later. What's he selling you? Toys, my boy, toys. <sighs> now, come on, let's go. Man, where are we going, Bill? Pay somebody a visit. Billy, man, please don't be a dick. Johnny, you seem a little tense lately. Have you considered some analysis? Maybe a day spa? <laughs> High colonic? Colonic. <laughs> <laughs> Another Follow season. the leader, assholes! His orthopedic surgeon records indicate that he was a deaf woman who plays guitar. Mermaids. The wise. Threesomes. This is serious. They're not detectives or scientists, but they act like they are. They're Don't you ever get tired of following Billy without knowing what's going on? That's what you do with a leader, dumbass. Are you sad no one's following you, Johnny? I'd be nothing but embarrassed to have you kissing my ass all day, Brian.
to beat you, Bill. I'm still your humble servant. Have I got a toy for you? <laughs> yeah, whatever, Bill. What do you want? What is this? What? What the fuck is wrong with you, man? What are you talking about? These deadbeats are the ones who killed Jason in Broker. I thought it was a Pole or a Serb or something. We got some bad information, brother. These are the guys. They killed that kid, and look at you. You're acting like you don't even give a shit. You sick or something, man? These deadbeats killed Jason? Yes, they did. Now, take one of these grenades and put it through their window. <laughs> the Almighty forgives, Johnny. The lost don't. Yeah, amen, Johnny boy. Shook at all these deadbeats. We're about to have some fireworks! That'll rattle their cage. Deadbeats have got themselves one shitload of heroin. Pack it up, Johnny. Wait, I don't understand. What? I thought this was payback for Jason, man. What the fuck is this? Two million in arm candy is as good a payback as I can think of. Jesus, Come on, brother. Hold your fucking horses, man. Now we're gonna steal their smack? Slow down. Slow down, huh? Hold up. Wait. <laughs> Jesus. Physics lesson, fuckball. Do you know how motorcycles work, do you, Johnny? You about to get school. Centrifugal inertia, meaning the quicker your wheels go, the more stable you are. The faster we go, the harder we hit it, the more us brothers pull together. That's why we do what we do. That's how we do what we do. Why? How? They're the same fucking thing. We go faster, longer, and harder. And that's how we stay together. Brian, shut up. What the fuck are you talking about? You gotta stop reading them shitty internet sites, man, and start thinking about what you're doing to us. We lift this shit right now, and every deadbeat on the East Coast is gonna come after our chapter. Well, that's something your leader will have to worry about, not you, soldier. Brian, grab the shit.
Shit! It's the man! The big bad biker man. Liz Torres, the meanest bitch in Bohan. Oh, come here, sweetie. Shit, I'd let you kiss me, but I'm afraid you'd stick a knife in my back while I was doing it. You wouldn't be the first man I tried that trick on, sweetie. Yeah, I heard the stories. Listen, I also heard you got somebody for that brown. Maybe. There's an apartment on Cassidy Street at Shortler. You go upstairs and talk to Charlie on the third floor. There any heat? When isn't there? I got a new guy going along with you. He's from Eastern Europe somewheres. If the heat's coming from Charlie, use this Slavic motherfucker to help. But if it's him, you know what you gotta do. Well, either way, it ain't coming back to you, Liz. Hey, you know Playboy? He's going along too. Hey, Playboy! Yo, chill for a second, Cho. Nah, not really. Well, don't you wanna dance? No, I'll just sit right here and wait for your boy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Johnny! Yo. Come over here! Come here! Yeah. Nico, this is Johnny. Now, Johnny is sitting on a big pile of heroin. I don't go near this stuff, professionally. But I found him a buyer. We're nervous. Will you oversee the deal and check everything is cool? Sure. Thank you! Well, I gotta go pick up the stuff. So, uh, I'll see you there. All right. Shit, man, we gotta buy her. I don't know why Billy got you to handle this, and not me. I mean, what's up with that, huh? I guess your Semites are good at <laughs> sniffing out a deal. Uh, Ain't that right, Johnny? I didn't get you because Liz Torres and any other two bit hustler on the street would take you for the little pussy that you are. We'll rob you blind. But give me that shit. See you around, big guy. Classics that have been used in car and tampon commercials. <laughs>
buyer or some Asian dude called Charlie? Like in Vietnam. <laughs> Just like the movies, money. Yo. Hey, man. Hey, you ready? Sure, let's do this. Nothing like selling some dope to let you know you're alive. Let's go. Yeah, let's do this. All right, come on. Hey, what's going on, guys? What's going on? Not much. Let's do this. You got the heroin, right? Right? Come on, let's do this quickly. But you got the heroin, correct? You're carrying it, correct? I mean, it's a simple question. What's wrong with you? You're being fucking weird. <laughs> Not weird, man. I just want to know if you're carrying the stuff, right? You ain't right, friend. No, Come no, Come on, no, let's no. get out of here. LCPD! Freeze, motherfucker! I said freeze! I depart company. You head up, and I'll go down. I got you today in my sights. Fuckers! Yo, money! Screw you! This one back. you want! Have an appointment? Uh, no. I thought I'd inquire about a membership. Excuse me? Uh, yeah. Under this ravaged, drug-addled exterior lies the heart of a reactionary prick, so I thought I'd fit right in here. I think you should leave, sir, before I call the police. I think you should leave, sir, before I... Dude, it is the 21st century. Let me tell you something. You've got a job wiping rich pricks' asses, and for some reason you seem a little pleased with yourself. Will you leave? Trust me, man, nothing would please me more. But I'm supposed to see Tom Stubbs, and well, he said to meet him here. Oh, Mr. Stubbs, sir. Okay, you only had to say so, sir. Follow me, will you? Mr. Stubbs is in the day spa, receiving some back work. Right you are. <clears throat> <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> Mr. Stubbs, a gentleman for you. Oh, thank you, Levis. And thank you. So, you're David Grossman's friend. Oh, yeah. We're old, old buddies. Love the old boy network. Yeah, I can imagine. So, what is it that you want? Could you excuse us, sugar? Okay, sure. And thank you. Best massage I ever had that didn't involve a happy ending or a poignant sense of guilt afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> See you tomorrow. Mm. Tom Stubbs, how do you do? Well, now that you mention it, I'm starting to feel a little queasy. Don't be pathetic. And no secrets here, pal. Now listen, I'm in a bit of a bother sport. Well, I think they could fix that with surgery these days, you know? Can we stop with the jokes? Grossman tells me you're reliable. Grossman? That guy's an asshole. Look, I'm not gonna insult your intelligence by pretending to be a good guy. I'm a politician. I'm a cynic. I'm very needy. I need people to like me. I need people to like me so that they elect me. I need people to elect me so that I feel marginally less bad about myself when I stare into the mirror. That being said, I try to do a good deed here and there. Democracy is a beautiful thing. Personally, I prefer a benign dictatorship without the pretense of choice. But let's leave the political discussion, shall we? Yes, let's. Unfortunately, an awful man has ensured that my chance of being reelected is pretty much zero. Why? Blackmail? Not exactly. I need his money, and he hasn't died. What? You want me to kill your father? No, that's disgusting. How could you suggest such a thing? My father died years ago, thank God. No, my uncle. That sanctimonious do-gooder controls the family trust. Whoa, that's heavy, man. Yes. So is being arrested for drug running and spending the next 30 years in prison. You and your little gang, I mean. I see. You make a wonderful politician. I know. Now, you've got to get the old goat today. Make it spectacular. Make it appear as though it's a terrorist act. That'll do wonders for my campaign in all sorts of ways. Uh, Levis will give you a package on the way out. Right. Oh, and Klebitz! Trust me, I am what I am. But I look out for those who help me. A blackmailer with a conscience. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, there's, a, uh, there's a whole bunch of them that are uh, like teenagers that are lip syncing this song in their bedroom. And it's like a high school talent show, but I, I, I can't get arrested. Streaming audio, streaming photos. There's a cup, but there's two girls. And yeah. There's a back door you can take. It's, it's, Listen, I don't need to hear about your back door. I'm trying to do a radio show. Right. Oh, so you do a radio show? Yes, it's I'm streaming online. online. Listen, yeah. it's streaming online. Listen, I'm down, it, all I know is this internet is seriously cutting into my radio career because I, I gotta tell you, the, the MP3, please, nobody's gonna be talking about MP3. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show radio you. is coming back. Radio because it's coming. last.
joint. You push me! She's some kind of tear. Why your old fucking dope, you cheap bitch? It's 
over, Ashley! I'm here! Sure know how to get yourself into trouble, don't you, baby? You sure know how to get me out, Johnny. Come here. What's wrong? I don't want to hang out here. Can we go? I don't want to hang here, neither. Then again, I'm not the one messing up my head on a week-long ice binge. I remember when you used to mess around at my place. That don't happen anymore, either. Take me home, man. Crashing hard. You all right? I'm with you now, Johnny boy. How could I not be? How long you been up? Two days? Three? Who's counting? It ain't good for you. You know that. Sure, sure. You expect me to sit clean when you're not there to look after me? Maybe if you answered your calls. Fuck. Whatever. Okay. I'm bad, baby. I'm bad. I know it. You should teach me a lesson. Hit me or something. Teach me I'm wrong. Oh, enough of that. Teach me, baby. It's the only way I'll learn. Make me hurt. You're making yourself hurt already, you fucking idiot! Hit me! Give me a break, sweetheart. I used to fucking love you! You're too sweet for words, Johnny boy. You think I'm sweet too? You ain't good for me, sugar. That's all I know. Nice place you got here, sugar. Not now, honey. I ain't feeling so good. I thought you said you stopped smoking that stuff. I did, Johnny boy. I did. I promise. I never lied to you. Come on, baby. That's crap. <laughs> you know it. I never lied to you when I was sober. Well, my whole life's falling to shit, sweetheart. I guess it was dumb of me to think this would be any different. I'm sorry. 
I know I ain't much, but I'm all yours. You do know that, baby, don't you? If you say so. I love you, Johnny. Thanks for saving me again. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you know what? We're better than this. We can, we can live better than this. Yeah, well, let's hope so. Say the word, honey. Take that bike, we'll ride off into the sunset, you and me. You, <laughs> me, and that little habit of yours. You're my habit, Johnny. <coughs> and you're ridiculous. Ah, Mr. Stubbs is expecting you. Hey, how you doing, man? Oh, yes, sir. Um, hello, sir. I'm fine. Good. Hey, let me ask you some. Do you really enjoy life? I don't really know what you mean, sir. I mean, to serving all these rich morons, you know, smell of money and all that stuff, you know. Does that make you happy? <laughs> yes, sir, something like that. And tell me, sir, are you happy? I mean, has giving the man the, uh, finger really satisfied some inner urge within you, sir? Well, I think what I've learned is that there's always a man, dude. He just wears a different uniform. Uh, as you say, sir. Uh, Mr. Stubbs is in the steam room uh, right this way. Clevitz! How you doing, sport? Hey. I'm fully clothed in a steam room with a murdering politician. <laughs> well, my whole life falls to shit all around me. But fuck it, I'm all right. Miss your uncle? Oh, I've doubled up on the therapy. Change your therapist. Oh, but I've been seeing Dr. White since I was seven. Man's a genius. Okay, what can I do for you, man? I'm not really dressed for this, and you said it was urgent. Yes, well, mm, there's been a, a clerical error down in the deepest recesses of the Civic Citadel. A group of... Outstanding civilians, voters, have mistakenly been taken into LCPD custody. Oh. Well, isn't there something you can do about that yourself, man? Pull some strings or something? No, I'm afraid not, Sport. Way too far down the line for that. Too much red tape, yada, yada, yada. No, all you need to know is that uh, these gentlemen are in a prison transport bus, and you, my friend, need to liberate them. Sure, I got it. Are the buses at the Leftwood Police Station? Get them out of there, and we will make it worth your while. Okay. I got it. Don't sweat it, Clebitz. <laughs> <sighs> chafing you? Well, you must be used to wearing Perseo suits and shit. Look, it was a victimless crime. My taxes pay your salary. Long way from the exchange now, aren't you? You yuppie pricks. Still think you're better than guys like me, huh? You should be put down. I saw what you did to that orderly. The man's organs ain't meant to look like that. Come on! Ya no gusta mucho 
muchachos. No. Uh, sí, uh, solamente gusta muchachas. Uh, uh, mucho líquido. Best tasting thing I've had since I got locked up. That's intense. All right, since we've all uh, eaten, we've got a new destination, people. to save your preppy asses. So calm down. There's a boat waiting behind the Glow oil plant in Actor Industrial. Would you please move? So, um, what are you folks in for? For these fellas, it's white collar shenanigans. Caught with their hand in the cookie jar, my greed was of a uh, more corporeal nature. I'm gonna take that as meaning you were into some sick shit. Let's not discuss it. As you wish, dear boy. I'm guessing it wasn't you I got paid to bail out anyways. I doubt those who remember me think it a great idea that I am about to be roaming free again. Okie dokie then.
Thank you, sir. My fellow prisoners and I are most grateful. We've got a boat to catch. Oh, I do like to be beside the seaside. Oh, I do like to be beside the sea. Oh, I do like to walk along the from 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 where the brass band plays in the bum 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 bum. Bon voyage. Billy, I just don't see how we have a choice, man. I have a choice. I'm free. I'm not a slave. I have a choice. Jim, I love you, man, but since you've hit middle age, you really lost something. Yeah, and since you've fucking been strung out on this shit, you've lost something. You're fucking mine. Easy, Jim. Who the fuck you speaking to, huh? Hey. What's up? I'm just trying to explain to our friend here that possession is nine-tenths of the law. We should make the slopes pay us back. Billy, I got Chad on the phone. Pay us back for what? Look, we have a business opportunity here, Johnny. You think a guy like you should be pleased? Yeah, but Jim says there's some problem. There is. That H we stole. It belonged to the Chinese. The deadbeats told them we got it and they want it back. So? Fuck them. Finally! Billy, Chad's on the phone about the meeting. Look, normally I'd be down for that, but these aren't the type of dudes you just say fuck them to. There's some heavily armed, pissed off motherfuckers who killed a couple of angels when they found out this shit was gone. Now I'm thinking maybe we could strike up a deal with them. Okay. Okay. Yeah, why don't you just suck them off while you're at it? <laughs> and tell Chad I'm sober as can be over here! That's what I Look, told him! Look, I just think that given this war we're back into with the Angels of Death, and given the fact that one or possibly two government agencies are looking into our shit, that offloading the heroin would be a good idea, all right? And looking for a fight is the wrong thing to do right now, given the fact that we can't even stop fighting amongst ourselves. Yeah, you're right. We should probably all get in a circle, hold hands, pray, sing kumbaya. Kumbaya. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> this ain't no joking matter, Billy. We'll either end up dead in the ground or back in the lockup with you. I ain't going back there. I'd rather be dead. Well, you don't have to do either, man. I just think that getting rid of that stuff now is the right thing to do. Okay. You're not as big as those. 
are so tough, how about we light a fucking fire? Come on! may have beat you, but you're still the fucking man in my book. All right, Jim, Johnny, since you two were both so vocal in your support of this deal, you two are going to be the ones to hand over the brown to the slopes. What? What are you and your boy here gonna be doing? We are gonna watch your backs, because unlike this fat man here, I just don't trust those little yellow bastards. Good luck. Hey, they don't need luck. We're looking out for them. <laughs> this better be cool, man. So, Johnny, this is, uh... Mm. Okay. We gonna be cool and do this thing? So let me get this straight. You are here to sell us back our heroin. The heroin we my cousin sweated over in order to bring to this country only to have it stolen. Look, man, we can do business or go to war. It's your call. In this country, they seem to be the same thing, you stupid pieces of shit! Fuck you! Getting out ain't gonna be easy! Where's fucking Bill? You said 
set me up, Johnny! You set me up! Put your hands in the air. Now! Fuck you, Johnny! You're dead! Shut your goddamn mouth! Shut You're your mouth! You're dead! Shut up! Man, what the fuck? Johnny Clevens. Brian, man. Shit's fucked. Billy's been taken down. Where are you? Bill? Yeah, he's fucked now. Thanks to you. I'm around the corner. We're coming. Wait there. Let's get back to the bikes. What was all that about? I don't know, man. Billy sounded pissed. He's gonna have plenty of time to think about his anger on the inside. Why'd he bring me into it? We got more important things to think about. Without Billy, we got no leader. You're gonna have to take charge of the chapter, man. It's like being made captain of a sinking ship. What am I gonna you do? You got some fun. You're gonna stick by your brothers. We gotta pull together now. You're right about that. Let's see what Brian's got to say for himself. Clemens, man, what the fuck? What happened back there? What are you waiting for, the second coming? That was heavy, man. Fuck it. What was Billy's fucking problem? <laughs> Nothing wrong with him, buddy. You two want us to end up all dead? Man, Billy was right about you. I knew you were a rat. Now he's gone, man. He ain't gone, Brian. He's gone to prison. He's not dead. 
You ratted him out. You ratted him out. No, I didn't. He nearly got me fucking killed. You set us up. You always wanted to be the one, the man. You're a gimp, Johnny. Give it a fucking Judas. What the fuck are you talking about, you ass-kissing little weasel? Hey, Brian. Johnny's not like that, man. Jim, you're wrong, man. I know you're a good guy, but this Jew prick, he fucked us over, man. He set us up and he called the cops. And you know why? Because they're putting heat on him. They saw him and they've been calling him. I know because they did the same to me. And they told me you ratted us out. You keep talking like that, you are dead, my little friend. Now, fuck you, man. What? You sent Billy to jail, huh? Show us your phone. Prove you ain't been speaking to the law. I don't prove shit to you. And I didn't talk to no one. Fuck it. Come on! You stay away from us, you hear? Jim, I guess I gotta take over as chapter president now. When people hear about Billy going down, there's gonna be more pressure on us than ever. We gotta get through it. Brothers for life, man. Lost forever. I'll see you soon.